I would tell you that karma is horrible. What you did to somebody else, tomorrow somebody could do to you. Tonight, a grandmother is pleading for answers after she says her oldest grandson was killed on his way to get food in Kalamazoo yesterday. Right now, police are still looking for the shooter in what marks the city's seventh homicide of the year. Or Matt Whitgos is joining us from the newsroom tonight after hearing from that grandmother about the hardships her family now faces. Matt. A straight A student, he spent most of his time going to school and work down in says someone out there knows who did this and needs to speak up. Went to the house, got him and his mom something to eat. And uh, two minutes after he left, his mom heard gunshots. A Kalamazoo family heartbroken. He will never be able to go to the prom. He will never be able to graduate. All these things that he's supposed to be his first things, um, you know, being able to take a senior pictures that we just planned. None of that is possible now because somebody took his life just walking down the street. Just walking down the street. <laughs> we have to do better, people. We have to do better. Marquis Robinson was shot in the head near Stockbridge and Mills on Wednesday afternoon, not far from his home on the city's southeast side. He later died at the hospital. This is just a senseless, a senseless killing because he was a good boy and he never, he's not on the streets, he never do anything. This is a straight A student and he just never, what this is not, this was not his life. <laughs> Now Marquis' grandmother has only memories to reflect on, like this family trip out for his 17th birthday a few months ago. <laughs> Yolanda Dunnigan, a board member with Mothers of Hope, an organization to support families and affect positive change in the community. We have to stop killing each other. We have to stop killing each other. Not having any value of life. You don't have any value of life to the point to where you feel like you want to take somebody else's life. It's not fair. It's dangerous. And somebody has to account for this. Marquis' death, one of six gun-related homicides in Kalamazoo this year. KDPS says they found the car used in the drive-by shooting burned and left in Richmond Township. We literally need to stop this no-tell policy. Um, you know, the policy of you don't, you know, don't tell and don't snitch because basically bottom line is you're allowing these young murderers to get away with something to do it all over again. You know, this violence has to stop between these kids. If you know who killed Marquis, you're asked to call police. You can call a silent observer if you want to remain anonymous. As for the seventh homicide in the city, police say that one involved a knife. In the newsroom, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.